knew Newton's laws in science could be so much fun? It's all part of the Arizona Science Center's program to take science out of the museum and into the classroom. Today, they visited a fifth grade class at Wildfire Elementary School. The lesson was about Newton's laws of motion and aerodynamics. And just like you guys said, aerodynamics is the shape of an object. It helps it go through the air easier so it can go faster. Okay. Tony Bellapito okay. talked about shapes no and what so makes a rocket fly. Rocket. Then the real fun began when the students rushed to form groups to construct their own rockets. We're not just talking to them about what is going to happen. We want them to actually see how their experiments, the things that they're learning about, how it actually fits into things in daily life and how it can be used to benefit them. But it's not all about having fun. The students were learning about the different variables that could make their rockets fly the highest. Yeah, let's do a paper cone and then cardboard wings. Yeah. Things like the size of the bottles used for the rocket body or the shape of the nose cone. After they sketched their design, the groups gathered their materials and went to work. Once the students finish building their rockets, it's time to head outside and see how they fly. Let's take a look and see which group used science to build the best one. The kids were confident they had high flying rockets because they used science. I think it's gonna go pretty high. Really high. We kind of designed it so that it would have a lot of aerodynamics. Putting their aerodynamics to the test, the groups pumped air into their mounted rockets and stepped back to make sure they weren't hit. In case the rocket did fly toward them, run, run. they knew what to do. <laughs> You guys remember what today if it comes towards us? <laughs> Beautiful. And the tip worked. <laughs> Most of the time. It almost hit, actually. I ran into it. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> but overall, the rocket launchings were a success. And so was the learning. I love science. It's one of my best subjects. I wanted to be a teacher and teach science. Allowing the kids to experience being scientists can leave a greater impression than just learning the facts. It's the Arizona Science Center's hope that the experience can bring these facts to life and inspire kids to continue their scientific learning. For No 99, I'm Kelsey Wasung reporting.